All right, so section 11.2 is on permutations. You notice I put in parentheses order matters. Um, when we're doing permutation, uh, obviously I put order matters, okay? So uh, if, I'm, um, if I have all of you guys here in this classroom and I say I'm going to pick three of you guys, one of you guys I'm going to give a gold medal to, one of them I'm going to give you a silver, one of, one of you I'm going to give you a bronze. Does it matter who I pick first to get the gold? Well, for some of you, you're going to be like, yeah. Some of you guys are like, no, I'm cool with just getting any one of them, right? But for some of you guys, you're like, yeah, I want the gold, right? I don't want the silver. If you can give me a gold medal, I'll take the gold, right? It, it does matter which one I do, right? If I say, all right, I have all of you here, and I'm going to pick three of you guys, and the first one I pick is going to make the most money, the next one's going to make okay money, the last one's going to make a little bit of money. Does it matter who I pick first? Yeah, if you want to make the most money, sure, right? So with permutations, it matters the order in which we pick stuff, okay? So um, the very first thing that I talked to you guys about right now was factorials. Okay, before I started recording, was was talking about factorials, the, the exclamation mark notation in math, okay? Um, so the uh, factorial just basically tells you that whatever number factorial you're taking, so we have four factorial and six factorial here, um, you basically just multiply those numbers, right, the four or the six, and then every number below it all the way till you get to one, okay? Um, it's nothing tricky. 12 factorial will be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all multiply, okay? Um, and the one little note that I told you was just don't forget that zero factorial is given as an axiom. It's equal to one, so make sure you guys know that, okay? But you can put that on your calculator, right? The shift X to the negative one button, uh, should give you that. Now, for some of you guys with different calculators, it might be a menu. So we saw earlier with some of the TIs, um, it's actually a probability button that you have to hit first, and then uh, you can find the NPR, the NCR, and the exclamation mark. Now, we moved on, and I had you guys write this down before we started recording, and uh, we talked about permutations. Okay, a permutation is they're going to give you a certain number of things. It could be people, numbers, books, classes, okay, whatever. And you're going to have to take them R at a, R at a time, but order matters. So you got to think about that. Like, which way do I want things to be done? Okay. Any problem where the order matters is considered a permutation. Any problem where the order doesn't matter, which is going to happen on Monday, that's called a combination. Okay. Um, and, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So uh, you can see the formula there, NPR is equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial, which means you need to know how to do factorials. Okay, but I told you guys that since it's the end of the year, we're not getting into the factorial portion so much, so I am going to let you just use your calculator to do the calculation. So your calculator will do that calculation by just pressing the button, okay? So we don't have to worry about the breakdown of that. But the way you say that thing in black is it's a permutation of n items taken r at a time. Okay. Uh, the way I say it, I say n permute r. Okay. Uh, on Monday, there's one that's for combinations, ncr. I say n choose r. Okay. That's just the shorthand for saying that big old uh, definition there. Okay. So we have, uh, I think, three examples we're going to cover. And then uh, we'll get started with it, okay? All right, so for example number one, we're going to find the number of possibilities. For part A, it says Samantha has five classes. She is deciding which order to take them in, okay? Does it matter the order in which you choose your classes? It kind of does because some of you guys say, oh, man, I got a free period. I'd rather have that at the end of the day, All right? That way I can leave early. Or maybe you're like, well, I don't like to wake up early, so I'm going to get my free period in the morning, right? One of the worst places to put your free period is when? In the middle, right? So it does kind of matter where your classes are. So this is a permutation because the order in which you choose your classes is going to be kind of important, right? So I am going to take five classes, and I'm going to permute them five at a time, okay? So five classes, and I'm going to permute them five. At, I'm going to take them five at a time. So I have five items, and I want to organize them five at a time.
but using a permutation. Why a permutation? Because the order in which I place my classes is going to matter. Now you're going to go to your calculator and you're going to use that function. You're going to press the number 5 first, okay? So if you're using one of the black calculators, you're going to press the number 5. Then you're going to hit the shift button. Then you're going to hit this button, x to the negative 1. And then you're going to press the number 5 again. And you'll see basically what looks like this. Now some of you guys, you're going to hit the number 5. Then you're going to hit the probability button. Then you'll choose NPR. And then you'll hit the number 5 again. The multiplication button. Oh yeah, it's the multi oh I'm sorry, I'm doing thank you. I'm doing the factorial. I'm sorry about that. You're correct. Correct. The times button. You're right. For the NPR. I was doing the factorial button. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, what number does it give you? 120 different ways that you can organize five classes. Okay? That's how many different combinations you have for it. Or permutations, shall I say. That's how many permutations. Where order matters. Okay? Bless you. So if order doesn't matter, there's usually less. Because then you have to divide by a specific number, five here. Um, so, but uh, there's 120 ways that you can put five classes in order. All right? That's your answer. That's it. This is why the homework's really quick. Okay? Especially because I'm letting you use your calculator. If I wasn't, then you were actually going to be doing the calculations, right? So here we go. There are 30 people in a group. There will be uh, three will be chosen as captain, co-captain, and equipment <coughs> manager. Okay? So, I mean, some people would say this matters, right? Because I'd rather be captain, not co-captain. Um, some people would rather say, no, I don't want to be captain. I'd rather be equipment manager. Right? So does order matter in this situation? It does, right? It does. Getting picked first, maybe you want to be captain. So you want to be picked first. Okay? So um, we have 30 people. We're going to choose three of them. We're going to permute three of them because the order does matter. So this is what you're going to write. 30 permute 3. Okay, and then from there, you're just going to use your calculator. So you'll type in 30. Then you're going to hit shift times, or maybe you hit probability button. Um, and then you press the number 3, and you hit enter. And what number does it give you? 24,360. Okay, so there you go. Now, part C is, uh, it's a little different. I mean, you could use um, the permutation button, but this one's a little different because it tricks people. So let me give you a little bit of time to write this one down. All right, so this one is from your homework, by the way. Um, so you're setting up the combination of a four-digit lock. You want to use the numbers one, two, three, and four. You got to use them all. Okay, but you don't care what order they're in. In other words, you can put four first, one first, three first, two first. It doesn't matter as long as you use all the numbers. So I'm going to set up, this is what we did yesterday, four events. Okay, we're going to set up four events. The first number can be one, two, three, or four. So you have four options. Okay. Four options. Now, once you use one of those numbers, how many options do we have for our second digit? Three. Three, right? And now you've used two different numbers. So how many options do we have for our third? Two. And then the last one is going to be one. This is basically four factorial. So four <coughs> to the exclamation mark, right? But I mean, you can just multiply this out. Four times three is 12 times two is 24. So your answer is going to be 24. So you don't always have to use the NPR button, um, especially with these lock buttons that there's, or the lock problems you're talking about. There's two of them. So there's going to be another one where you're going to just use an event and just kind of do underlines and go through it slowly. Okay. Um, 
But notice, I'm not saying that the combination is 4, 3, 2, 1. No, I'm just saying that the number of options for the first number is four different options, three different options, two different options, and then one. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys your homework. You guys can work on it. You'll probably be done, like I said, in like five minutes. Okay? It's not going to take you long.